Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring here in the Mirage Tower. If you watched the last part, part of me is a little bit sorry because uh, I struggled to complete yet another puzzle. Um, but I'm not that sorry because I still think that that puzzle was a little bit silly. Um, you know, I have very few complaints about this game, honestly. Uh, one of them would be that the sheer number of bosses means it's suffering from Dark Souls 2 Syndrome again, which means that they're just... The bosses, by and large, aren't all that interesting. Having every catacomb and dungeon end in a boss means that they're going to run out of ideas, and I'm already starting to see many of them reused, uh, and they're really nothing more than maybe a standard enemy with slightly more health. Uh, so that's one issue that I'm taking. Now, so far, the story bosses, Margit and uh, Godric and uh, Ranala have been fantastic, and I have high hopes for the rest of the story bosses. Um, it's just some of the odd ones that just kind of feel a little flat to me. The other one are some of these puzzles. I, I'm not enjoying them. This one in particular, having to find an illusory rock, the only thing that I can say positive about that is being a mirage tower that was kind of related, but at the same time, considering both of the previous two phantoms were not concealed, and then only the third one was, it's that inconsistency that I'm getting a little bit frustrated with. If they had all been illusions, I think that would have been clever. So you use the map to find the object that maybe stands out ever so slightly, and then that's how you work it. But two of them were just right out in the open, and then the third one was hard to find. So anyway, I'm not here to complain. I am here to show off my stats. 77. Wow, I didn't even know we were that high. We are getting up there. I am really, really digging that. What are we going to do today? Great question. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is we are actually going to head back to the village of the Alba Norix. Now, that is where again? Where exactly? I know it's under. Did I not? Is there no site of grace? There was a site of grace, right? I think definitely thought there was a site of grace because it's right in there right oh maybe I have to no huh was there really no there was there had to have been anyway this is what we're gonna do we're, we are going to head to the uh, the village of the Albanorix because I'm being told that there was an NPC that should have been there that hopefully is now so we're gonna go check on that um, and then one other thing that I did, in fact, we can go do that right now. I did go online just briefly, just because apparently with some of these patches that they do, uh, just like what happened with my uh, Reduvia, is that you get the patch just by updating the new file, but you don't get the regulation, which is a part of the patch. I don't know exactly how it all works, uh, but you get that regulation portion by signing into the server. So now I'm 1.03.1. And I guess there is a key difference with that versus just 1.03. Ah, and that is now. Oh, you don't have it. Of course, you're going to prove. <laughs> you're going to make me a liar. Some of the merchants are supposed to have smithing stones. Now, I'm not online now. I went online. For now. And then I logged out. Let's try one other merchant. There's this one on the shore we can check. Um, no, let's do the isolated merchant down in the Weeping Peninsula right here. Let's see if he has them. Maybe I had to log into the server and then start the character? I didn't think so because it definitely downloaded or installed that regulation. Let's see. Okay, so he does sell some. So it does look like that has been updated now. Um, I'm Actually, now that I'm here, I'm going to buy a couple of these just because we did use quite a few in the last few episodes. So now he sells a limited amount. He sells three of the level two smithing stones, and you're going to see that um, pretty frequently. Also, they're cheap. I mean, this is a level two, and they're only 400. I think the twin husk merchant in Roundtable Hold, and actually I'm going to go back and check that right now. She was selling them for, what, 800 for level one, 1,600 for level two, I think. So I wonder if her prices has... Uh-oh, D's gone. D is gone. Oh, no. So if you remember, it was a few parts ago, uh, we talked to Fia and we were given a weather dagger made of silver and gold and we gave it to D. He said he knew who it belonged to and he was going to return it to him and he's now gone. We also learned that uh, thanks to the late Rajay's letter, D had a brother who had head down, headed down to Nakron. 
So, oh, hold on, hold on. Something else has changed. This door is, was not open previously. Who is here? Who is that? Oh, what is going on? Fia? <gasps> oh, what have you done? I want to talk to her before I pick it up. Finally, it is returned to its rightful place. The stolen Hallobrand of the exalted noble. And now, I must bid you goodbye as well. Though I ask you deliver this message to the round table hold. I am Fia. Deathbed companion. Hark round table. Disturb not the death of Godwin, the exalted. We, who humbly live in death, live in waiting. To one day, welcome our lord. What right does anyone have to object? Our lord will rise. The lord of the many and the meek. Uh-oh. Yikes. Okay, so something has been going on behind the scenes. And, I mean, obviously, Fia had way too much information, way too much knowledge about the Knight of the Black Knives to simply be, you know, a, a standby just a, or a passerby. I didn't actually suspect her to be... Well, then again, I mean, she is a deathbed companion. To be associated with those who live in death kind of makes sense. But also, take a look at this. Now, we saw this with Rajay. And I don't, I still don't know what to make of it. Look at these tendrils. In fact, they are, they don't actually look necessarily vegetative. Maybe the vines themselves, but the leaves don't look like leaves to me. They kind of look like crystal shards. We saw that coming out of Rajay and I don't, I don't know what it, uh, what it means, but oh gosh, am I going to get the dagger back? Oh no, we're going to get D's bell bearing. And then the twin helm, armor, gauntlets, and greaves. Oh, no. Oh, I like D. I did. Helm depicting entwined twins of gold and silver. The two known as D are inseparable twins. They are of two bodies and two minds, but one single soul. Not once do they stand together, not one word do they speak to one another. Perhaps this armor longs its, to find its way to the other D. Ooh. Okay, so maybe once I find his brother down in Nakron, I will have to maybe either don that armor or give him that armor. And it looks like it's the same here. Oh, no. Oh, D, I'm sorry. <laughs> well... Things just took a turn. I assume that means I can no longer... Yeah, I mean, it makes sense. I can no longer be held. I wonder if there's any clues in her room. That'd be kind of cool if there's something hidden to take a look at. You know, kind of like in Skyrim, which a lot of people are comparing this game to Skyrim, and I think rightfully so. Sometimes you find things under the bed that would kind of clue you in to who someone really is. So this is getting quiet. Brother Corrin has left. Dialos, we know, is now in Volcano Manor. We have D, who's now dead. Now, luckily, Roderica and Hugh are still here, but we're running out of people. And I'm sure Sir Gideon has nothing new to say because he's kind of useless. To the cat, you think you may yes, be. I get it. I get it. Nothing. Right. All right, let's give the bell bearing to the twin husk. And, oh. Actually, look at this. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that has been up to... Wow, only 200 now for level 1s. 400 for level 2s. And then, of course, we have the Sombers as well. But let's offer this. I'm sure it's just going to be the incantations that he had before. Yeah. Which we still need to buy Order's Blade if we really want it. Which we don't need it right now. And, of course, you have... I'm assuming nothing new to say. Okay. Wow, that's... um. That's a bummer. <laughs> I 
that is uh, well and truly a bummer. Um, I do want to try something out. We got those invi invisibility spells last time. Now, I don't care about the weapon because that's really a PvP thing, so they don't know what you're coming at them with. Oh, man, we need to get our faith up, don't we? We need to get our faith up. There are just two men, and, and arcane, really. I'd love to get my arcane up to 18. I'd love to get my faith up to 20. I think this would be a really, really fun spell. Um, we'll have to take a look at my, let's see. I think I want to do, um, we're going to have to take a look at my gear again to see how I can raise those two attributes. I want to, I have glint blade, phalanx on this, and boy, actually, you know what? I like those. I like those combinations, to be honest. Never mind, I'm happy with that. Um, I don't know if I've gotten enough to do any sort of upgrades yet. Let's just take a quick peek. Probably not. Well, you, no, let's just say see. Uh, okay, we could get Misery Court up one more level, which I like the idea of. Sure, why not? And, okay, so now we're going to need level four. You need level five. You also need level five. Okay. And Roderica, real quick, Great anything else for you to say? You're still going to talk about that, even though I've already talked to him. Okay, anyway, that is enough of that. Let's, um, real quick, though, what do I have? So the Scar Seal, that's already raising my Faith and my Arcane by three. Radigan's Icon is not doing that. I Oh, I do want to... Hmm. This would actually work well with what I wanted to do, but I was also thinking of doing this, the Godfrey Icon to enhance my charge spells. You know, all right, sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna kind of completely redo some things. I'm gonna take off everything. I do wanna try out the unseen form just to see if it actually works in PVE or if that is just a PVP tool. But I wanna see what else can charge. Okay, so Comet can be. What else? Uh, Glintstone Stars, which we haven't even used yet. Crystal Barrage, yeah, they're not great though. Cannon of Hyuma, absolutely. That does not have a charge attack. Shatter Earth, Rock Blaster, which apparently Rock Blaster, I'm not giving enough credit. I need to definitely check that out. Uh, Thops Barrier, no. Magic Glint Blade increases the delay, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Uh, Magic Downpour, okay, that extends duration. Loretta's Great Boat. Now, these are some expensive spells, too, so this might not be the best idea. I want to put that on. Hopefully, we can fight something that is uh, mounted. That'd be pretty cool. Night Comet, all right. Do we have one more? Sorcery can be cast uh, in motion. Shattering Crystal. Oh, so does Gravity Well, and I like Gravity Well. And we're not going to be using those anytime soon. Um, let's do this. Let's just play with this just to see what kind of damage we can put out with uh, with charging, which is going to be a problem, which is going to be a problem because, yeah, um, they take a little while. Right, so where do we want to go? I guess the closest one we have is because it is under here, right? I swear I have a Sight of Grace, though. Am I just absolutely losing it? It's not on this side. Right? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. There it is. Jiminy. I still don't know how to get up on top of that plateau, though. Looks like there's an Everjail and a Ford and all sorts of fun things, but I don't know how to get up there, and maybe, maybe I'm just not supposed to. Right, so again, we're just kind of looking for... Do I want to... Oh, I was going to say, do we want to make it daytime? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's... Uh... <laughs> We're under a cliff face, so it's not going to work. Okay. He was looking for Albus. We found Albus. That's how we ended up with... Uh... Oh, gosh. What was the... What was the archer's name? I can't remember. So let, let's try this first off. Let's see if this actually works. It seems to. All right. How about a little, nice little charged comet? Nice. Okay, Glintstone. Oh, that's that's decent. Okay. Oh, watch the perfumer. 
That wasn't bad. And it's still going, so I like that. Okay, it did break there. I don't know if that was, you know, quite a minute. Also, that perfume just dropped Altus Bloom. That's kind of nice. Now, I'm not sure where this NPC was supposed to be, so we'll just have to kind of check around. Fortunately, the Omen Killer is already dead. I mean, sounds like I hear someone. It could just be, well, I guess you. Um, how about magic down four? Total overkill, but it'll be fun. That is actually pretty good. That can last a, you know, quite a while. Okay. So I guess we'll cross the bridge, and that's about it. If there's no one here, there's no one here. I'll have to ask around and find out why that might be. You know, we're not going to waste magic on these folks. Not when we can just do this. Nope, just do some full clears just to kind of take our time, make sure that, oh! Make sure that we are being thorough here. Although, you know what? No, I was going to use a cannon of Haima, but that that's definitely overkill. Alright. Grab some mushrooms, why not? Oh, another thing that they did, which we definitely need to check out, is they increased the damage of some of the consumables, like the crack pots. So that's something we, we should definitely give another go. Uh, I think they almost doubled their damage, but they just reduced their scaling capabilities, which isn't so bad. Okay. Is there anyone behind the shack? I imagine probably not. Nope. Okay. So if this ends up being a waste, you know, I'm sorry. But no way to know until we do it, right? How about a little complete waste of uh, Loretta's great boat fully charged? 871. I think that's just their full health. I don't think that was the full damage output of the great boat. Could have been. Although this, this wasn't even the right way. Wasn't there another section? Because that's where I killed the Omen Killer and all that. No backstab, huh? Now, have I actually gone over there? I guess I have, yeah, because the converted tower should be somewhere around there. Okay. So no need to drop down. Not yet. That's a converted tower. Okay. Yes. So we have in here. Um, all right. Back on... Oh, right. It's that bridge I was supposed to take. Right, right. I'm remembering now. Halfway through the... More than halfway through the episode. Okay. Yeah, I should have inquired to find out if they were going to be nearby or not. Now, that is just a flask refiller, right? Let's tell you what. I think... Nope. No, 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 no. You're going to interrupt. Don't do that. Oh, wow. That was, that was a waste. That was a waste. Oh, gosh, blue. <laughs> I hope I miss every shot. That's what I wanted to say. How about a little, how about a little night comet? Not bad. Not bad at all. I just... Wow, 1093. Let's just get you. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Oh, really? I think... Now, this should be a... Uh, health refiller, right? Would you stop it? And yeah, that was just health, which I should have used. I'm gonna go ahead and say I don't think there's an NPC here. I don't think there is. How about, let's see, wasn't there another dog nearby that I should be able to hit? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Where 
was the other one? Oh, right here. How about a little shattering crystal, huh? Love it. Well, I think that's it. I don't think there's an NPC. I'm not sure who's supposed to be here or why they're not showing up, but something, something is amiss. All right. Well, we came, we saw, we tried. And unfortunately, we fail. Oh. How about a little, uh, little uncharged comet for you? That'll work. <laughs> now, this is using a lot of FP. A lot of FP. But I am putting out some very, very real damage. Right. So, with that being said, where are we going to head? Are we going back to the Altus Plateau? I kind of want to. Because I want to actually check out that cave. So what is... Oh, that's Dragon Barrow West. What is that little shack? That looks like an interesting little shack, doesn't it? Hmm. It sure does. Uh, no, 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 no. We're not, we're not doing that yet. That is for another time. That's for another time. So instead... Um, what did we mark this for? <laughs> Oh, that was just the map, so we can actually get rid of that. There we go. We don't want to go to Mount Gelmir just yet. I think that's what that is. But we were looking at... We had two mines. We had one here, and we had one here. The finger-reading crone is up there. Hmm. Kind of thinking we go do this one and then maybe do we want to head here that looks oh that looks like poison let's be completely realistic that looks like poison but I think that's what we're gonna do we're going to head over to the Erdtree gazing hill and then head north and we're gonna go to that mine in fact I'll go ahead and drop a beacon on it right now there we go can I go oh I can actually go even closer I don't think I can get closer than that there we go Right, so probably not going to be doing the mine today, in this episode, I should say. But we'll at least get there and try to get some more, maybe fours and fives. So I guess what we want to do is actually go in here, instead of riding straight through the battle, or battlefield, which is what we did last time, we want to go, yeah, and just follow these trenches. Ugh, into what? This doesn't look so good. Those trees look dead. Why do these trees look dead? Well, I gotta get in and see if this is causing any sort of status effect. It's not. Why Why do all the trees look dead? Whoa! Why'd that scare me? It's just a crab. Jiminy, that's why. Okay. I wanna take this crab out. We're gonna, we're gonna knock him down. <laughs> Please don't kill me, sir. All right. Get to the side. Jump R2. I want to knock him down is what I want. Come on. All right, come on. Jump R2. Really? Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm wasting all of my flasks on the crab. Did you fall? Wow, no. Just die. Oh, that was a total waste. Maybe I'll get some flash back for that, though. And what do we have for me? Blood Blade. Okay, so I have Poison Blade, and I have Bloody Slash, but Blood Blade seems to be it's probably going to spray blood and then coat it with blood for a little bit of time. That's my assumption here. Oh, get away from me. Blood blade. I'm gonna walk away here. Uh, wound self to coat the armament with blood, then unleash an airborne blood blade that causes hemorrhaging, can be fighting rapid succession. Oh, no, okay, it doesn't actually say that it actually lingers for any time. All right. Still could be cool. Yeah, I figured that's what that little splash was. Uh, do we wanna ride along the cliff to look for Caves and catacombs? Of course we do, right? Ones that we're going to miss anyway. 
Oh, and you're being quite aggressive. I didn't even realize I got the golden rune <laughs> from that skull. What do we have? Oh, oh what? Uh, just some workers. So here, I talked about this before. I really like that they do this. You know, I for a while was wondering why would you just have these random, very, very weak enemies until I realized it's because it's a way of killing a group and getting flashed back, just like I just did. Oh, do you, oh, you're on a horse though. <gasps> hmm, do we wanna try it? Kinda, I don't even know how it works, but we're gonna try it. Here we go. Oh, you have to be pretty close. No, and you have to time it, that's tough. That's very tough to use. I can see how that's probably really cool. Oh, that was very cool. And dismounted him right away. That was awesome. So here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm going to top off. And I'm going to use that. And I should get at least one back, I think. Yeah, there we go. So when you know you have these weak enemies, oh, okay. When you know you have these weak enemies, definitely a good idea to just uh, use a flask to top off. All right, here we go. Big hit, big hit. Not not as big as I had hoped. Although Glintstone Star is not bad for the cost. Okay, how about a little cannon? I didn't charge it. Didn't need to, 1270 for an uncharged comet. Holy cow, that was amazing. That was really, truly amazing. Which definitely makes me wonder, what can I do for a fully charged? Oh, he has a ch Hmm, why does he change? I don't know. Oh, I'm, I didn't actually hit him. That was splash damage. Uh, interesting. Maybe I hit him in the head last time? That's why that was so much? Huh. All right. Can I get a Loretta's? Nine, 907? Okay. Come on. I know what you're gonna do. There we go. All right, I'm digging the, uh, I'm digging the charging. I am digging that. Kind of a slightly different way of playing. I have to be, I wouldn't say more, oh, it's locked. It's actually locked with the uh, stone sword key, it seems. But I'm not being more aggressive, but I have to be slightly more tactile because I can't just, you know, spray and pray with my really fast spells. Okay, run through that beam so it dissipates. And how many are we looking? Another two, okay, glad I bought a couple. And let's hope we start to get some really, really good upgrades in here. Right away we get expo uh, explosive stone clumps. Do I have my, no, nope, I don't have my lantern on. Let's get that on. Okay, so here is the kind of the secret way down, so to speak. Uh, by the way, a couple things that, I, well, not a couple, one thing I want to mention, there was a discovery that there is a wall. Actually, they found a two two different walls in Volcano Manor that only disappear after you've whacked them 50 times. So yes, I've heard about that. Um, Zuli the Witch, though, who is someone who likes to get into the game files and really see what's going on, she found that almost definitely, almost without doubt, those were just left over from early development and they lead to absolutely nothing. And right now they don't lead to anything. Uh, basically, instead of being set as an object, it was set as an entity with 9999 HP. That's been done in previous games as well. So whacking it 50 times with that particular sword, as that person did, really just reduced its HP to zero. Um, but what they were supposed to do was increase the HP to essentially 10,000, but also increase the resistance to 10,000, so it was impossible to actually destroy it. But anyway, just in case you're curious, yes, I did see that. Uh, but yes, I also believe that it was not done intentionally. I'm just going to take one quick peek inside before we do have to unfortunately wrap up here. 
Okay, so right away we start with some shacks. And I do want to see what kind of damage am I going to do here. Oh, one shot with Comet. That's excellent. I can probably be using some explosive stone shards or even just fire arrows, which I don't think I have, to blow these up. I have to be smart. What level am I getting? Five. That's great. Oh, five is going to be wonderful. I can actually get my horn bow up. Oh, nope. Oh, dogs. Why is it always got to be dogs? Alright, summoning pool. I know that I'm, I'm being very, very, you know, inconsistent with activating these, but when I remember, I activate them. Okay. Not, not a lot of this. Let's take care of that guy if I, actually that one. Ooh, actually, <laughs> change plans again. Can we just, two birds, one stone? Almost. What about a little magic downpour, huh? Oh, come on! Uh, got him a little bit. One more. Awesome. Oh, I'm having fun with this. Uh, I don't know if that's going to hit him. It did. It sure did. <laughs> All right. Well, this is where we're going to pick up next time. We are... I didn't even pay attention. Where are we? It's called the Old Altus Tunnel, where we're getting some level 5 smithing stones, and I hope I get many, many more to come. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying, and I will see you next time.